one of those people, Jack. <laughs> That's our battery up right there. In a, yeah. Greetings, GDC followers. Nikki Anderlead here, sponsored by Sanyo Interloop Batteries, here with I4U News. And we found someone in the press room who has, happens to be a female gamer. Her name is Robin Tippins, and we're going to ask her a few questions here in the lobby. So, Robin, how do you like the show so far? Oh, it's great. I've, I've been here since Tuesday, so I've really enjoyed it. Um, we got here, I did the Women in Games International. I'm uh, working in their booth, and I'm a little press pass. I've done a couple of videos and things, but uh, it's, it's absolutely great. When did you get here? Um, flew in Monday night and uh, started the whole show on Tuesday. So. And you were actually at the Women in Games International Conference, so why don't you tell us about that? I was. It was at EA, which is a great campus. I really enjoyed that. Um, the panels were good. Uh, the roundtables were fabulous. And there was like a wine and cheese thing afterwards. A lot of networking connections. I met some people from Second Life and things. So it's really good. Really good. So why don't you tell us what brought you here? Um, well, I'm a video blogger, so my first concern was that I wanted to come here and shoot some video. Um, but I also believe a lot in what Women in Games International is doing. So when I found out they had a booth, I immediately volunteered and uh, have met some amazing networking contacts through that and just some amazing women that are developers, programmers, designers, and storytellers. So, How did you get your start in this industry? Um, I started out back in 96, um, social networking. I was an AOL chat host, things like that. Um, by 98, I started to have companies asking me how I had built these communities and started to get some consulting work and things. I didn't get into gaming, well I was a gamer, but I didn't get into the, the business side of gaming until 2004 um, when I started a video blog, I mean started a blog about video games, uh, gamingandtech.com, started to get a lot of attention there. Um, in fact, B5 Media has the content to that blog now and now it's the place that I put my video blog up. But uh, I think that when you're a woman uh, out there blogging about video games, there's not a whole lot of us, so it, it creates a little attention. So, good start. When did you start gaming? Um, well, I can remember having, um, you know, I had the Sega, I had the first Nintendo, the Mario thing. Um, so, I was nuts about it then, but I didn't consider myself a gamer because I didn't really realize that there was such a <laughs> subset, you know, a gamer thing until probably around 95, 96, and I started to get, I tell you, I used to play Leisure Suit Larry, all these games that are not typically like what a woman would play. Um, I didn't get huge into it until the first Halo came out, and that was when we decided we could not deal with just one Xbox, but we had to have three, so that when friends came over, we could do the whole networking thing, and we have spent so many nights going and getting, you know, some type of an energy drink and just staying up all night and gaming, and I just can't tell you how fun, and you probably know this, how fun that is, just wasting people all night long. So I'm, I'm not your typical girl gamer. I'm not a casual gamer. I'm more of a, an FPS person or an RPG. I really like RPGs, Oblivion, things like that. So. so and you actually have four children, right? I do. My oldest is nine. So I have a nine-year-old girl, a six-year-old girl, um, a four-year-old boy, and then a, she turned two yesterday. My littlest girl turned two yesterday. They all game. Uh, the two-year-old plays the Wii. And when I say plays the Wii, I mean, that's really a stretch. She shakes the thing around while she's boxing. Um, but the four-year-old has been gaming for a year, um, and I, I'm a horrible parent. I let all of them play Halo. I mean, we, we play together. I don't let them play with a bunch of people, but we play together, and it, it's exciting. When, when my four-year-old gets a little nuts with it, then we have to go, okay, that's enough for you, Jacob. You've had enough. But uh, otherwise, I mean, we just we love it. It's a great way to just hang out as a family. So, Tell us about all the systems that you guys have. Okay, we have a Wii. We have two Xbox 360s. We have four DSs three Xboxes, oh, we have an N64, we have an original Nintendo, and an ancient Game Boy. I mean, it was like one of the first ones, and it's that, like, Tetris is lodged in it permanently, so that's all you can play on is Tetris. But it, hey, who's going to complain about playing Tetris? So. And you actually brought your laptop with you, your uh, stickered up Pride and Joy, so why don't you get, show us that? It's, it's two weeks old. Um, this is my Toshiba Satellite Steel Core Intel inside, of course. Um, but it's got, yeah, this is not my boyfriend's computer, but mashers suck because they do. Um, I'm a war driver, of course. Who isn't? Um, the ozone layer, cheese in a spray can, don't make me choose. That was my newest one, and I, I just love it. So, And I'm a crystal lover, too, obviously. That's a south, south thing, you know, southern thing. Cheesy. You know, hamburgers are delicious. <laughs> so is this the gaming laptop? No, this is not the gaming laptop. This is actually a work laptop for me, which is embarrassing to say that this is actually a work laptop for me. But um, my gaming laptop is a, a gateway. It's about a year old. It's a 64-bit processor just like this one. So it's, it's pretty sweet. Uh, when we put the Vista Beta on it, you wouldn't believe the 
I know people hate Microsoft, but you wouldn't believe the difference in uh, how fast everything ran because of 64-bit processor, 64-bit OS. So, yeah, good stuff. So what are you going to be doing the rest of the week? Oh, interviewing people. I'll be in the Wiggy booth, the Women in Games International booth. Um, I'll probably hang out some in the Intel booth, you know, just hanging out. Got a lot of parties, the Sweet Nights tonight, and uh, well, Women in Games has a party that Microsoft is sponsoring tonight, so can't wait for that. So, so uh, why don't you tell the people that are watching your blog where they can find your stuff? Oh, now you can let me do that. My main blog is sleepyblogger.com. So sleepy, just like you're sleepy, and then blogger.com. And then uh, the other one, the video blog, is gamingandtech.com. So this sounds just like it's spelled. I mean, it spells just like it sounds. So. And you actually had mentioned that you were going to get to move out here from San Francisco? Yes. I, I'm not allowed to say where yet, where I'm going to be working, but um, it's a search provider. And uh, I'll be um, there at the end of the month or early April. So I'm excited. Is this job going to get you access to like the coolest, latest games or anything? No, probably not. It's not really a gaming job, but it, it is a nerd job, so I'm excited about that. <laughs> hey, anything else you want to tell us? Um, well, I'm just so glad that there are other female gamers here. I've seen probably 40 or 50 of them, so I'm so excited about that. And it's just nice getting to network with people. So that's about it. All right, thank you so much. All right, Robin Tippins, another female gamer, and she has a family, so she manages to do all of that at the same time. That's Pretty crazy, but yeah, GDC 2007, stay tuned guys.